Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. In Glenwood Landing, the community holds an art exhibition celebrating its history and the environment. We have an event called Replanting. It's here in Glenwood Landing, and it's a retrospective. We're looking back at the history of the Glenwood Power Plant, which was just decommissioned and dismantled and demolished. Uh, community members have uh, brought out arch archival photographs. We have photographs of the plant recently and in the past. Uh, there's fine art, people have t um, done their own paintings and drawings. The paintings and drawings were created in a variety of styles and medium, but they all had one thing in common. I had been photographing the demolition of the power plant f over the past year and a half. And as I photographed it, I realized there were a lot of other people photographing it and there were artists making work about it. So I started to get to know people as I photographed and ask them if they would want to be in an exhibit. We even have video from the demolition crew of the walls of the plant going in. So it, it was kind of like a small idea that grew very large. The idea was so large that even on the day of the show, artists tried to contribute. People are still handing me photographs. I just got given another one and I said, I, re I really can't get the hammer out right now. The power plant was part of the community and not all residents wanted it demolished. The Glenwood Power Plant represents a tremendous amount of local history. I had an uncle who worked there and there are dozens and dozens of people and grandchildren of people who work there. So the history in this community dates back to the 1920s. So it's, it's a loss from a historical standpoint. There was an effort in the community to try and preserve it, but economically it just wasn't feasible. It would cost millions of dollars in asbestos abatement and it just couldn't happen. Local leaders are concerned about the financial implications to the residents. This potentially could be a very tough pill to swallow. The only reason people on the North Shore accepted this plant to begin with was its contribution to the, uh, to the school taxes. And now that the plant is gone and nothing's occurring with the property, we have a real potential loss. On hand to provide some inspiration on what to do with the vacant land was U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt, who conserved 384 million acres of land around a few places you may have heard of. Yosemite, Grand Canyon, the Devil's Monument, Crater Lake, just to name a few. But Roosevelt was level-headed about land use, so parks were not always the answer. Conservation means as much protection as it does the wise use of a resource. North Hempstead Commissioner of Parks and Recreation Jill Weber is working with the community to decide the next step. I think that getting having a community that probably worked very hard for a long time to see this day come, there, it's, a, it's a chance to celebrate and look toward the future for what possibilities await us. So what do residents want to see done with the former power plant? I would like any type of a community center, any type of open space that the public can come down to on a regular basis and enjoy that incredible waterfront that we have here on the North Shore. It would be nice if we had a park, but unfortunately the ground is probably still contaminated from years and years of ignorance in terms of the environment. And, uh, and it's owned by National Grid, so the chances of turning it into a community park at this point is rather slim. I would like to see it not built, okay? So I would basically like to see either nothing there or what people have suggested is making it into some sort of a sculpture park. To help everyone reach a consensus, President Roosevelt shared a quote from one of his speeches. It is not what we have that will make us a great nation. It is the way in which we use it. The nation behaves wisely if it treats its natural resources as assets which it must turn over the next generation, increased in value and not impaired. 